And of course, a key piece of this discussion is space. We saw China launch astronauts to its new space station just last night. I was speaking to the former NASA administrator, Jim Bridenstine, and he said, yes, we're in a space race with China. The U.S. is ahead, but we need to make sure we stay that way. Obviously, you have military space, civil space, commercial space programs in, in your portfolio. How do you see it? Our space business is one of our greatest assets, Morgan at Lockheed Martin. It's going to actually be the, the overall tie together of the 5G dot mill architecture is going to be a lot of space-based connectivity. Uh, we have satellites in geosynchronous uh, mid-orbit and also low-Earth orbit. We're adding more on the low-Earth orbit, and we're partnering with commercial companies to accelerate our ability to launch more satellites more quickly into the low-Earth sphere, for example. So the space business for us is really important. But on a broader scale, and going back to Jim's point, uh, China looks at civil space competition as a part of its national security uh, effort to advance itself versus the West. Uh, there's geopolitical and scientific and ultimately military um, advantages for them to drive civil space exploration and demonstrate that they can move faster uh, and even you know, more aggressively, uh, let's say, than we can as a society, society in civil space. So there's a national security aspect of that competition, which Jim Bridenstine is, is correct, is very real. Um, but it goes even beyond just NASA versus civil Chinese space. It actually mm -hmm. encompasses a broader uh, effort on their part. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.